uh, character announcement, Terry. Yeah, I'm happy. Okay. I'm happy for the people that are happy about Terry. I don't really play the SN SNK games or either, King of yeah. Fighters, but it's cool. It's it's good representation to have an actual FTC character. We have Ken and Ryu, yeah. Um, but yeah, I have a lot of buddies that were like, "Oh my God, this is this is amazing." Yeah, so. a, lot of, a lot of the older, uh, you know, people in general that right. really go back to those scenes. Which is cool. I and think then the other announcement cool that they're they're adding more characters after the oh, fifth one. Yeah. So that's the announcement that everyone's like, wow, like Nintendo's gonna it's gonna be like eighty plus characters in this <laughs> it's game. It's gonna be even crazier than we already know. And honestly it's smart. Good marketing for them, really smart option. Mm -hmm. Um this game's literally the best mash game of like all time in my opinion. Uh -huh. I think it's I agree. beautifully done. It's balanced, it's it's all the characters are good. Even the worst characters in the game are good. Yeah, they're viable. Everyone's yeah. viable in this right. game. I mean unless you're little Mac, but it's fun to watch, <laughs> the you know, the freeze frames, the parries, yeah. like it's, it's it's a very fun game to play and to watch, so, you know, I love it. Oh, my God, that uh -oh. tape reflector there on the uh, turn up, it flew right back in his face. But, yeah, Razo, I mean, getting the couple uh, coming out to fight here. And, again, Peach just being one of those rush down heavy characters, gets in close to the space, combo heavy, very scary. Again, woo, not going to be There was to two kill. sparks on that one up B, and it still didn't kill. <laughs> yeah, it always looks like it, uh, you know, should, but it doesn't, especially if you didn't really have, you know, like any rage or anything either which isn't like a huge mechanic in this game, but it's still, you know, important. He would have had a little more. Mm -hmm. Could have taken the stock, but again, isn't Smash 4 Mario, so it's not gonna kill off the top as easily. Um, okay, ooh, uh, missing that uh, grab there. Well, Raza not gonna get the grab that he's wanting. In a bad spot here. Good lead trap opportunity for Master Free Mario. Grab, but he, he spaces it to get the hit with the parasol. Yeah. And they actually just buffed parasol. They had they nerf parasol. They buffed it to where now all the hits connect uh, more more often than not. They I don't know why they gave Peach another buff, but I guess. I mean, it makes sense. That, that parasol's supposed to hit. The way people were falling out just didn't <laughs> make sense. Yeah, I just feel like that's the thing with Nintendo. They kind of focus on the characters that are used a lot. They got to focus on a lot of the, you know, the unrepresented characters as well. Uh -huh. That's off topic. But anyways, you know, <laughs> just stuff like that. But again, uh, Master Mario off stage here. Razu, again, with the ledge traps, using, utilizing the turnips, really scary stuff. Again, look at him just wait patiently to Peach. Just kind of dominates with her range. Look at the space. Back airs. Take it again with that grab into down air. Nice stuff. Ooh, okay. He missed the punish opportunity from the side beat. Kind of side beat right in his face. And sometimes you're respecting the players a little bit too much. Peach Bomber is one of those moves, too. It's scary. Good job from Razzle there, dying uh, in so he didn't get killed. That might kill? No, it's sent him to the right. All right, Master Mario kind of bringing this back here. This is. Almost uh, to the point where he could kill, but wait, the float cancel back here. Very good stuff from Razo. We've got Dot Eyes here, too, coming out uh -oh. on the stage. Gonna throw it back. Nice, he gets the yeah. soft nair and he reads that uh, Razo's gonna come in aggressively and he gets that forward smash, tying it up here in game number one. Yeah, no, that was really clean. Uh, beautiful stock there, as we saw. And the down air into the fair. <laughs> that, that actually shakes like. <laughs> it, I, I, Peach never surprises me what she does anymore. I'm yeah. always amazed to see what this character can do. She's just relentless. Um, again, this should be some type of punish for Master Mario. Okay, Not she's going to nair out of it, yeah. I mean... Good idea going for the flood, but I think Razo was ready for it. He went right to center, and then he started floating again. Yeah, no, it's difficult. And you see him trying to utilize these fireballs as well, but Razo could kind of just wait here. He's... Is that a ledge, ledge pump attempt? And he's going to get punished Ooh. for it pretty hard. And nice tech read with the forward tilt. Forward throw. And just like that, one engagement, Master Mario brings it back. Pretty much tied up in percent, but he does he have there. a jump? I don't think he has he a jump. He doesn't have a jump. Wow. Nice turn up snipe, and that's going to be game number one of Losers Finals. Razo, if you guys aren't familiar with Razo, the gentleman on the left there, longtime Peach main. Yep. He's been playing Peach since the beginning of Smash 4, and I think currently he's PR'd like six or seven in SoCal, but he's been on a tear as of late. He's top five PR, I believe. Okay. Uh, I think he was first or second or first uh, the previous season. He was really high on the PR. Yeah. I think he's a little bit um, lower. I think, I'm pretty sure he's still top five. But yeah, he's ever since Smash 4, I remember. I've, I've seen him grow a lot too. I remember him and K9 going back and forth yeah. in Smash 4, uh, you know, fighting over, you know, who would win Wednesday Night Fights. And now it's just her being the character that she is. She's, she's great in this game. And then Razo is just a great player as well. And it's just crazy to see what he can do. Again, I feel like this matchup is a little bit harder for Mario, uh, just in general. I feel like Peach. Master Mario's done it before, though. He's, he's beaten Razo multiple times in, yeah. in recent history, too. So this is by no means going to be like free for Razo. 
Oh, it's definitely not going to be free at all. Yeah. Uh, you know, Master Mario, another great player, definitely recognized for sure in the scene. Yeah. But again, just, uh, in general, um, it, it's difficult. Uh-oh, there? Oh, that's oh, going to be the stock. Or is, early he died at 50%. Yeah, because he connected that down air fair. That's a combo, but to connect it all the way out on the like on the drop zone like that, I was afraid that was going to kill him. And then he got the sweet spot of the forward air. So Razo, good, good, good awareness from him stealing that stock because he was losing. And nice pivot forward smash. We've seen Master Mario get like four of those since uh, since we started watching. I know. <laughs> I mean, it's really great. He kind of just sits there patiently at the ledge. You know, he tries to uh, react or uh, call out options. And that's usually his kind of go-to fade away to his match, some type of smash attack. And it works. He has that down air back in. Nice stuff. Harry not okay. gonna miss input there with that air dodge, but yeah. he's still gonna be in the advantage state. What was he going for there? You think? What was a um, some type of short hop aerial, and then he he must have hit his grab button or something. But it doesn't matter. He just ends up tacking on like 60% so quick. And uh, Mario is so scary, man. It just before you know it, he just gets one of these combos, 50-60%. But he's gonna do all three jabs. Gonna get punished for it now. Razo in a ledge trap situation. Ooh, almost gonna get that fair connection there. Not gonna get it. Really scary. Look how he can just space these back airs. Nice pressure with the turn up, kind of limiting his movement already okay. and his aerial approaches. And that might nice. be it. I think he's out of a jump. Yeah. Very nice ledge guarding from Razo. Multiple times now he's pun punished Master Mario for uh, coming in aggressively with a double jump aerial. Yeah. And then he usually closes out the stock with the turn up. You know, the edge guards from Beach, really nice stuff as well. You, we know that she likes to go off stage. Um, as we were seeing there. But again, Master Mario not too bad at a deficit here. He's going to have to take a stock now if he wants to uh, convincingly take the stock. It's going to be hard. Opting for the up smash, out of shield, not going to get the connection that he wants here. Scary, risky air dodge right in front of Raza there. I don't know. That's a little questionable. Wow, that back air safe on shield, even against a Mario up smash. And now Raza threatening the two stock here in game number two. I'm so impressed by Razo's Peach play. Yeah, I know it's Peach, and Woo! we're saying like Peach is like a top three, top four character, but I really give Razo a lot of credit for some of the options he chooses. And I want to go ahead and say I think he's probably the second best Peach in the country. Right now, I think it's Samsora and then Mutace. But if Razo just had a little bit more, you know, traveling experience, I think he could he could take a lot of these these top players' names. 100%. Wouldn't doubt it for sure. And that comes with more practice, right? Going out to the events, getting better, improving. It's a thing for sure. He's already crazy, both of these players. Uh oh Again, the up air struggles. That's Mario once again bringing this back. He's down a percent the whole game, but he just brings it back with like one or two combos. And now this is a pretty much a last hit situation. Nice shield into the float cancel in there. Razo, how are you going to keep this Mario away? Gets the oh, back air, but good DI. Take Gets good the cape. cape the Wait. Turnip. What? That was beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> he countered the turn up that he reflected, so it was like a double, like, no, that was actually really smart coming out from Mazda. The options, like, how do you think of these things? It's just yeah. so much time, experience, familiarity with the matchups. Just, I don't know, looking really hard for Master Mario, I mean, especially because this game is such a mental, you know, focused game, and it's, like, it's so hard to be down, you know, O2 and be in that position to be like, how am I going to bring it back? Are we going <laughs> to see the banjo, banjo? <laughs> though? I like this. I actually right. really like it. <laughs> I we lo we love it. you for this, Master Mario. We love you. No, Bring out the banjo. What do you think of this color alt, too? Uh, I think it's cool, honestly. I, I love the blue and it's red like color scheme. It's the yellow shorts, though. It's like the Denver Nuggets or something. I don't <laughs> know. <laughs> no, I love it. I thought we were actually going to see the Gruntilda skin. Oh, um, no. That's been like the most popular <laughs> skin I've seen tonight. It yeah, for you sick. and Jake. <laughs> I, you don't like it? I mean, I like all of the banjo colors, okay? But that one is just... <laughs> it's Gruntilda from the, the Witch from, uh -huh. from the banjo series. No, I get so. the reference now. Okay, down throw jab. Is that actually a thing? Uh, You can do a lot of things out of the down throw, uh, even at higher percents. You know, as Jake was doing earlier, you know, yeah. you would see the up smash. Right, right. He um, got down throw up smash on me yep. and killed and then the next stock he did down throw full hop fair yeah i've seen people do like up air out of it as well uh -huh. you know they'll kind of read the mash there's a lot of options and follow-ups you can do with it for sure um but yeah banjo oh. actually looking like it's not even a bad pick for him right now but i uh, ooh, that recovery a little bit uh, oh okay okay very nice <laughs> already master mario yeah. figuring out the recovery going under the stage nice reverse down b actually covering his landing with the grenade the spot dodge again. Okay, that was Mario <laughs> input with the forward smash, say. spot dodge, down smash. He's literally playing Mario right now. Down throw. Mario again, dude. <laughs> For sure. Down throw. 
down smash. Okay, so Razo's buffering the mash now, and the down throw isn't confirming into any smash attacks. I feel like he should definitely uh, do the up smash out of uh, shield more, and uh, definitely when he grounds him like that. Uh -huh. He's opting for that down smash, but again, I feel like up smash kind of sweeps you in, as we've been seeing all night. Okay, Massive Mario already has some tech right there, catching the grenade immediately after the reverse down B. I'm interested to see how Banjo-Kazooie's uh, meta develops. Um, at first, people were saying mid-tier, but as we were saying earlier, I feel like Nintendo's done such a good job in this game, making every character have some decent options. For Banjo real. can't be an exception, by, by no means. I mean, oh, the max distance wow. forward B actually connects. That has such a weird lingering hitbox to uh -huh. it as well. It doesn't even look like it was going to connect or hit him, but it ended yeah. up uh, getting that. It was so strong. It's like a better pit side B or something. It was yeah. actually really good. It reminds me of Peach Bomber a little bit, too. Yeah, It's just actually. not safe on shield, where Peach Bomber's, is, Peach Bomber's uh, side B is so safe on shield. Okay, though, the turn up play here. Nice. Uh, Edge guards coming out with those turnips again off stage. He's gonna need to hit himself with a grenade here, and he doesn't. Okay, doesn't. Oh okay, my wow. God. <laughs> All right, <laughs> Razo's Peach. Looking Showing a little us, yeah. nasty right now <laughs> <laughs> for sure. Looking hot, but honestly, you know, I respect him bringing out Banjo, trying Oof. it out. Woo! Okay. Relentless pressure here again. One of those rush down heavy characters. I like the beer verse grenade again, coming out from Kazooie's little That's a booty. Punish. No, <laughs> nice spot dodge. Okay, there's that grab, gonna back off her back throw there. That's actually a very good uh, kill throw as well. Back throw? It's another Mario move. It's Mario's back throw. It's like the same thing. I like the pressure. I would like to see a little bit more of like uh, the neutral uh, B special as well. Uh -huh. Nice to see, kind of like the egg. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and I'm pretty sure they're like ice eggs in the game. Ooh, okay, just getting back onto the stage. We're that was a good recovery. Around. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I think it was a mix-up for sure. Okay, this time he goes for the down throw, no smash attack. Gets the uh, back air, actually. I, see, I like to see a little bit more pressure, though, with, um, you know, the projectiles, but uh, obviously. He needs his kill. Yeah, he needs to close something out. If he can say he's looking for that grab, maybe he's searching for some type of back throw here. Wow, nice tech. He actually teched the drag down back air. That was pretty nuts. Nice forward air. Okay, last stock situation. Can Massimario actually take a game with his day one banjo? Answer is no. Okay. As soon as you say <laughs> it, yeah. It's just like, ah. Uh. Good try. Yeah, no, it was a good try for sure. And honestly, um, 